So one of the strongest recommendations that AWS gives you is to say to set MFA on your AWS root user account. So that's something we're gonna do right now. So make sure you're logged into the root user account. So I'm gonna go log out as my IM user. I'm gonna go back and log in and I'm gonna log in as my uh, root user here. So to do that, know sometimes it will be expanded as the IM user. Click and sign into root user here. We'll have root user. I'm gonna go ahead and enter my email that I used. And if you do switch accounts frequently, they will ask you these silly captures, which drive me crazy, but uh, you know, it happens. You probably won't encounter it as much as I do. And so I'm gonna go ahead and grab my password here and paste it on in. And so now that I'm in, what I want to do is make my way over to IAM. And I'm going to go and look for users. Actually, sorry, just right here, add an MFA root user. We're going to go ahead and hit add MFA. All right, and so that's going to bring us to this screen. And so here we can activate our MFA. And so we have a few options here. So we have virtual MFA device. U2F security key, other hardware like a uh, Gem, Gem, <laughs> Gemalto token. So, you know, I generally use this because I have a security key and I wanna show you what I'm talking about. So this is how I log into my machine or my AWS account. This is a security key, an Ubi key that sits on my desk. I tape it so it doesn't fall, fall off the cord. But the idea is that when I log in, I have to press this little button here to double confirm before I get into my account. Uh, but if you don't have a security key, you can just use a virtual MFA. And all that means is you're going to um, use something on your phone to log in. So we'll click continue here. And so it says install a compatible app on your mobile phone or device. And so if you click and open this, what it will do is tell you about some things that you can use. Um, so if we scroll down to virtual, here they suggest uh, if you have Android, iPhone, so Authy, dual mobile, last path, Microsoft Authenticator, Google Authenticator. So Google Authenticator, Microsoft Authenticator, and Authy, I have all those three installed. Um, honestly, Authy has the, the nicest, simplest um, UI, but I'm using Microsoft Authentic Authenticator quite a bit. So anyway, whichever you wanna do, it's fine, but what we'll have to do is go back here, and then it says, use your virtual MFA app on your device camera to scan your QR code. So. Once you have one of those apps installed, like Authy or whatever one you want, what you're gonna do is open up the application. And I can't tell you exactly where it is, but you'll have to hit add account in your, in your app. And then from there, it will ask you to scan your QR code. And so uh, once you're ready, you hit show the QR code, you hit scan the QR code on your phone. I'm holding my phone up to my, my, um, uh, my computer screen here, and it's going to find it. And I'm just gonna take a moment here to rename the account so I can tell what it is. So I'm just naming it AWS Sandbox because that's what I call this account. And I'm gonna go ahead and save that. And so now what I can do is enter uh, two consecutive MFA codes. Now this always confused me what they wanted here, but the idea is that you're gonna see one code, right? Whatever's on the screen right now. So I'm gonna type in it. It says 734051 and I'm going to wait until the new code shows up. So there's like a timer in all these apps and they go across the screen or they count down. And so you have to wait for that to happen. And so I'm just gonna wait here a little bit. And once I get the new number here, this one is 071530. I'm gonna hit assign MFA. And there we go. And I can't tell you how many times I like mess that up because I didn't understand the consecutive numbers but you're just waiting for uh, the number that's on the screen to enter it in and then enter the next one in to turn on MFA. And so now your account is protected and every time you log in, you're gonna have to enter in MFA. So let's log out and see what that looks like. So we'll go ahead and sign in. And uh, again, we'll put in our root user account here. We'll type in 74M32T, submit. And I need to go grab my password. So that's in my password manager. So just give me a moment here. And now it wants the MFA code. So this is in my phone. And so I'm going to go enter it in. So this one says 475841. All right, we'll hit submit. Okay, and there we go. So that's going to happen every single time we want to log in. 
Uh, I'm going to tell you that if you get one of these, they're so much easier to use because you just press the button. Okay, so that's why I have this because I cannot stand entering the code in time and time again. Um, but you know, those are your options there. Okay.